take five. We're not out to the point of the lighthouse yet. We should be shooting in pretty good quality at 60 frames, 59.7 or something. We're on, we're almost out to the point. The problem with the gimbal, if I play with the gimbal and accidentally click some of the buttons, it'll turn the recording off. And so this is my fifth attempt at <laughs> trying to get a video today. My fifth attempt, or sixth or seventh or something. I'm not touching anything, I'm not zooming, I'm not doing anything for the rest of this video because eventually the battery's gonna die, I'm not even gonna have a sensible video to post. So this, we're, we're, we're still in testing mode for the camera, for this kind of stuff. It's very difficult to hold everything steady, right? It's very difficult to steer the boat, look out for whales, watch out for rocks. Stay tight to the coastline. Don't get panicked every time I see something that looks like a rock. And these little beaches we're going to see coming up in a few minutes are um, that are over here. These little beaches. I want to get that centered on. Yeah, these little beaches. Looks like a rock in front of me. Gotta go back now. Nice move, Dana, because I can't make that turn and get away from that guy. So you gotta make a turn, go backwards. The wind's picking up again. I'll be going head into it once I get into the next bay. But there, I think there's an eagle's nest up in this area. And I got the I got the zoom lens on. I'm zoomed out as far as I can. So the idea today is because the tide is the low tide is coming at us right now. Well, we're one hour now from low tide, basically. And so I still got at least four or five hours to go before I go home. And I'm trying to shoot this whole point because the point is the nose that is out into the Atlantic. If birds are flying by, this is the first point the land they're going to touch if they're coming from the open ocean, right? And, and when you come into the continent, because they, they're traveling long distances, they're gonna see this point of land. This is where they would nest in these cliffs. These were, this is prime nesting areas. This whole coastline, as you'll see on the video, hopefully. I just gotta keep cool and not screw up this uh, live video we're doing right now. So this is only about documentation, it's about me checking the video after post to YouTube to see how many improvements I can make. It's, and at the same time, we're mourning an extinction event for the species due to Fukushima's pulse event. It's been going on for 80 years. So during the nuclear testing, they released around 36,000 Nagasaki Hiroshima size weapons total worldwide. Officially it's around 2200 but because when you take megatons and divide it by a thousand for kilotons and divide that by 15 kilotons per Nagasaki because Nagasaki Hiroshima was the first uranium Nagasaki was the plutonium and we got some you see, you see the bird excrement on the rock there That's most likely the cormorants that are not indigenous here. They're supposed to be uh, far away from here. And they've been here for several years. Nobody knows where they came from. They just showed up and stayed. Seagulls are scavengers. They can't dive like the cormorants or turs or common murs. I see them to tickle less. They're like a small seagull. So we're trying to quantify that there's no migratory species. Hopefully we're proven wrong and we find just this incredible amount of species. 
You got those three pigeons are gonna fly across. I don't know if that's the same one, I should say, but a little tricky right here. I pay attention because it's the tide is falling, so you're stuck on a rock. You're not getting off it for a few hours. I'm pretty good, I'm not gonna make the typical mistake, but you're on the ocean. Mistakes mistakes just happen on their own anyway, right? We had another three puffins. No, they're circling me. They're circling me. And we can see some algaes. Really sickly looking algaes on that point. Yeah, they're circling me. That's the same ones. So they probably got some nest right here. So there's four of them. Five. Come on. We'll be out of their way, and there's another one in front of me. I think, no, they're circling me, the same one as far as I can tell. We'll just keep moving along here, I'll let them do their thing. Obviously, they're waiting for me to go. So, no, we don't see any colonies. We don't see birds by the tens or twenties or hundreds or thousands. And that's when, you know, when 46 million migratory birds are coming through, that's what you should be looking at. And the sound here too. <laughs> Definitely not liking that. Let's kick her out of gear just to be safe. So you got a few algaes on the beach. Not a very healthy algae. We got a little ground swell, obviously. You see the rising and falling tide, uh, ground swell. The tide is falling at the same time. And this is prime nesting area. Just like all shale. You see all the shale. Uh, birds love that stuff, right? There'd be amazing fossils right there if you were looking for fossils. It's a pretty tricky spot, though. You want to. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about a safety harness if you're going in that spot, won't you? But just below it, where the rocks are falling, you should be able to check them. Stormy, stormy night. And a big gimbal, just so we got a camera on taking off. Probably missed them. My fault. Sometimes you got to cradle the arm like you cradle a uh, puppy dog or something with one arm. Just to hold it. They give my arm a break so I can steer with the other arm, right? So there's not any nesting here whatsoever. That's confirmed. I'm gonna make it around this point we're coming to. Now I can make the turn. I'm gonna go back to this so you can see the rest of it. There's nothing in the water. There's just kelp. Well, that could be uh, snails right there. And most likely it is because we haven't seen any barnacles. And little snails and barnacles kind of look the same, except the snails are spread out more. Playing a dangerous game here. You gotta pay attention to that sound there. Let's stay off shore a little bit more and I can zoom in a bit safer that way. It's nerve-wracking, but, uh, but it's not so bad because you're so busy. And uh, you can see where we're going ahead of you. Sure, let me stay on it for one second. I'm going to go around that point between the rock and the island. And I'm zoomed back in my side. And because this is a high quality, it doesn't I don't need to be zoomed right in, I don't think. A couple of seagulls. But it's interesting because you don't see any uh, any colonies, any nesting, any activity. Not even little birds on the shoreline. Mm 
Water temperature is now 52 degrees. It's been real hot. Oh, we're in the Atlantic for God's sakes. So there's nothing in the water, nothing on the cliffs. It's absurd. The silence out here is absurd. And when you come to these points, right, these pe uh, top of peninsulas, huge long coastlines, and you get all the way up to the peninsula, we're five kilometers out or something, and you don't see any activity, and you're right out in the Atlantic Ocean. That's the Atlantic Ocean out there. Ground trolls will come straight in there from 5,000 miles away. There will be no wind here for a week, but you still got ground swells because you got storms offshore that come all the way in here, right? This is prime, prime, prime colony land, prime, prime place for feeding. There's no species, no, no feeding. 15 trips. So let's call this one the 15 because. I'm stuck on that in my mind. So this is our 15th trip. I said the last one was 15, but I think it's this one. And we'll call this, we'll restart, we'll call this one 15. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it uh, next video. There's the lighthouse, we're right out on the peninsula. There's no colonies, no birds hanging out, no birds on the roof, no no birds on the shoreline. Don't pay attention, I'll be on the shoreline. Just gray and dismal, right? So we're going in between the rocks offshore, uh, southerly rocks. There's a couple of seagulls out there. We'll get, maybe I'll shoot pictures of that on the way back. There's a few fishermen out there, but it looks like it. And 15 feet of water, they don't pay attention. Every time I come out here, I'm sh totally shocked that there's nothing here. There's nothing here. And you can see yourself, there's no sign of life being here either.
here quick the wind throws you off just a matter of a second and I'm off my trail right away so we, we had a good steady line that time let's see if we get another shot of that bird Gotta watch out because there's rocks here. Let those birds take off? No. There's four of them. Let's see if I can screw this up. Now they're gone. I missed them. I didn't even see where he went. idea where they went but we got pretty good video of them though before I lost sight of them. I figured it once you watch the video later. I'm not seeing any species in here. We head on into the wind in a second. There's nothing nesting, nothing on the, on the coastline. Coming out. You can always turn the sound down because the sound doesn't matter. Very good. I'm pretty sure there's some wind blowing into your camera mic. That's because we had a couple days of Easter days, so it's still coming in. We have 20 minutes, so this video will make it up on the YouTube. I might post the other ones, part one, two, part three, or something like that, just because I'm uh, it's the only way you can learn, I guess, is to try and fail, right? If you don't fail, you'll never learn nothing, I'm sure, when it comes to this. Now, I, I've done five months on the ocean without coming home so I'm not familiar with it we're on a different coastline that's all I'm definitely rusty but if I was to spend a couple of weeks out there I'm pretty sure we'll get some amazing pictures and videos I might just do that yeah if I can get the kinks and the last piece of the puzzle on the truck we can pack up and take off to the other side if the wind is in our favor. Because we need to do stuff like that too, obviously. We should be doing it all. We should have five or six boats out here doing research. And the nuclear industry is intent upon everything dying. Japan is trying to murder you in your restaurants, or supermarkets. Nuclear industry, every nuclear plant, except for a few, is surrounded by farms. 
and they're all hemorrhaging radiation to the environment all the time. It's so evil is because it affects everything, every species. It's an absolute, just a scum thing to do. I should go in there, but I had enough of just fighting about today. Get shallow. Not showing me any rocks in the GPS. You just gotta have feet. Because without that, you're gonna. So I'm trying to show that there's nothing nesting, nothing hanging out, that there's no migratory birds. Up on me. I hate that shit. Eh? So there's no species hit away on this coastline. birds in the primus of the prime land, right at the end of the continental shelf on an island in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the biggest migratory seabird route on the entire planet Earth. 2023, seen the same thing last year and the year before, so they're gone, they're dead. They didn't migrate somewhere else or they even reported on it. I would have heard to me that thousands of migratory birds show up, blah, 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 blah. I'm not hearing any of that. We got, we got a little tiny community up here. It's in the middle of nowhere. That couple is headed in there too. I just don't like it when people slow down. Get a lot of room. 
little bit. I never do that to anybody, I'm so... You don't even have a kicker on your boat, for God's sakes. If you wash up, you won't be able to get up onto the shoreline, right? Most of these places, you're not going to climb up it, but you're going to be stuck down at the sea level. you got to have a kicker. You can't be able to a kicker, which is an emergency little motor, right? Stunning videos, stunning pictures, so it's a small price to pay. Because I failed so many times this morning. Battery which is good. coming offshore and so that's okay. It just makes the audio a little bit harsh when you're trying to do a lot of videos. And you check and the only problem because if you're not shooting videos it's easy to stay on course, right? Where you're one arm and you're watching the GPS, you're watching the shore, you're watching the shore, you're watching for rocks that are not on the GPS. Migratory birds or flocks, you're looking for any, you'd be happy with any kind. This is unbelievable, unbelievable prime, prime 